greetings everyone, Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Thursday, July the 7th. And this is the Komatsu 931 Harvester Pack by HR Frost und Frossenbrau. 32.69 megabytes to download, 23 and 21 slots on console. Now, these two look very similar. I'm not exactly even sure what the difference is. Is I'm sure you know we'll, we'll have a look at them because they're going to be under forestry machines, and actually here they are. So um, yeah, one looks like it's a little heavier. Oh yes, I see what the difference is now. Duh, uh, one has twin wheels on the back and one has a single wheel on the back. We'll look at this one first. The options for both of them are exactly the same. Uh, so if we look at, uh, this is 415,000, the uh, 931XC, as you can see, has two uh, axles on the back. It's a little bit longer, a little bit larger, but the everything else seems to be the same. Horsepower, fuel, uh, and then miles per hour um, maximum speed. Uh, we'll go with the double axle one. Uh, tires, uh, Nokian, Trailerberg. And the Olafsfors. Uh, in Nokian, we have the standard and wide. Trelleborg, we have uh, various sizes of the tread type tires. And in Olafsfors, Progrip F, and the standard uh, options for those, as you can see. And we're going to do this, that, that because uh, there's color options. Uh, so we have window tinting, no gold, which is kind of spiffy, or black. Uh, 500 bucks for those. Hood protection is on the rear. There we go. Yes or no. And main color, which is your cabin color, green or uh, any one of these, uh, just a plethora of colors. Uh, processor color is your cutter head. Uh, bands and chain color, now those are that. And the seat color, which is odd, that but we'll make it pink, I guess. Not that you can see it. Yeah, there we go. Pink chair. And last but not least, rim color, which... Uh, which he can make any one of these uh, fabulous colors. As you can see, a little bit of a metallic color there. Uh, altogether, $14,000. Oh, for, for the, the colors are going to cost you a pretty penny, but you'll be looking pretty. And no license plate. Right, so getting in. Interior, there is the red chair that I picked. We have our standard just turning. Uh, we'll get out. Oh, it, what, this is. These are your views. You have your standard in cab and your cutter head view. I prefer this one. Uh, so you have your standard driving. Uh, your uh, uh, do, do uh, lights. Yes, lights. Uh, no beacons. No signals. It is strictly a forestry machine. Uh, Thirteen miles per hour. For this one, uh, this is the little fellow with the single rear axle. Now, uh, operation, uh, so just note one thing, and we'll show it in a minute. X, uh, L1 and square, turn on the harvester. It's going to say, first activate cabin, let's see if you can see cabin, activate the cabin tilt. And the cabin tilt is L1 and up. And you might wonder, what the heck is cabin tilt? Well, it's a very cool feature that I don't know if... Uh, well, I haven't played much with these, but I don't know uh, if I've seen that... Well, I haven't seen that option before. So, as you can see here, I've kind of climbed up on top of this thing at a very kind of an awkward angle. And if we go L1 and cabin deactivate the cabin tilt, look what happens. So... It's level with the wheels, but if you go up uh, L1 and up, it levels your cabin so that you're always at level with ground, or at, can actually at level, despite what 
the ground is level is at. <clears throat> so you're at a true level, whereas your wheels could be at an angle. Very neat, eh? And it just stays in that spot no matter where your wheels go. You're not your cab uh, stays uh, level. I think that's pretty cool. Um, certainly, will keep uh, keep from having your uh, your camera go kind of all wonky when you're trying to do something. So, anyways, that's pretty neat. Uh, as for the operation of uh, uh, at cabin tilt again, uh, it's really standard operation for um, a a tree harvester. Uh, you have your your length, your um, aside from the tilt, um, your right stick moving your boom R1 up and down. L1 and R1 activate uh, moves your runs your head grabbing. This this feature here is going to be automatic once you get up to a, a tree. It'll it you don't really need to do that. As I'll demonstrate here with the tree, we will go forward and it'll kind of like hey there's a tree and L1 and X uh, oops sorry we have to turn it on there we go L1 and X, X will grab it and now it's got a hold of it so you don't have to worry about grabbing onto it or anything it's an not it's an automatic thing so uh, oh this this tree's a bit heavy <laughs> So there is limits to, uh, oh, I think it's stuck in the ground. <laughs> oh, dear, that's not, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> the tree's stuck in the ground. Okay, that's, there we go, now it's unstuck. So then you can, uh, L1 and X, and it'll you gotta press it every time once it cuts the length. And there it's oh, and then one last little stick. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, um, yeah, I mean, it's really, although the the, the level the cabin leveling feature is very nice, uh, I do really like that. If there was going to be a uh, a forest harvester, a tree harvester that I wanted to use, uh, that feature would definitely be something I would uh, I would want. And uh, well, and that's pretty much it. Uh, there's not much else to it. It seems to work very well. Uh, does have a, appears to be a pin hitch. That would be handy. I often forget to check these things, so right now we're going to check it, and no, that is n at least not a hitch that will hook up to a, hmm, not to a regular trailer, yeah, that's unfortunate, um, alright, and there you go, that's the Komatsu 931 Harvester Pack by HR Frost und Frozen Brau, 32.69 megabytes to download, 23 slots for the small one, and, or 20, yeah, and 21 for the bigger one, which is odd. More slots for the small one. Okay, that's the way it is. Um, I'm Loon Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.